Okay, so here we have the HTC One X. Uh, it's a new smartphone from HTC, and I regard this as a return to form for HTC. It's a quad-core phone with uh, an eight-megapixel camera and uh, powered by Google's Android ice cream sandwich operating system. And I think that the main uh, key differentiator here for the phone is that it's got um, amazing, amazing camera on it, um, amazing processing power, um, and a really, really, really attractive uh, body on it. Um, for the difference from between this and the previous generations of HTC phones, is this is a complete unibody. Uh, it's got a micro SIM. There's the eight megapixel camera. Um, what I really like about this phone is, is what you can do with the camera and the uh, capability for uh, video as well. It can shoot in one, 1080p high definition video and I'll just give you an idea of how the camera works. So here we are in camera mode. What's, what's really cool and different about this device is you can, um, y y on most cameras you see a little switch so you flip between video or camera. With this you can record in high definition and any any time while you're recording you can take pictures. So that's a really, a really cool feature. The other thing is you can shoot in high bursts so you can just keep your finger on this and it shoots a rapid load of pictures. It's really cool like that. Um, the device itself, um, Ice Cream Sandwich makes itself very clear on it. Um, beautiful flow of apps there. Um, another interesting point that worth noting is that uh, it includes uh, Dropbox functionality. So you basically can uh, go, every time you take a photograph, your photos go straight, straight onto the web. So upload look. So basically, it's really cool. It's, it's basically the cloud come to life. So every time you take photos, they're, they're stored on the cloud for you. Uh, another, another nifty feature worth noting is uh, this feature uh, that's basically uh, a car feature. So you can basically click on here and turn the lights on the side, put this on the dashboard of your car, and basically you can um, engage in navigation, phone, uh, internet, etc. cetera. Um, and also, because it's Google technology, you can use voice commands to basically say where you're going and all that, so it's really cool. And again, search for whatever you're looking for in your address book. What I really like about uh, HTC uh, and the HTC Sense interface, it's not as obvious on this device, but I think um, HTC Sense is one of the real weapons that HTC has that many other manufacturers have failed to really do. And it allows you to personalize your device in ways that others can't. So I'll just show you, for example, you can just add different uh, widgets and stuff to your home screen. You can make it look um, really cool and different. Uh, you can you can really, really, really good effects. So it just shows you that there's a certain uh, level of, of thoughts that go to a thought work that goes into in, into making it happen. So I'll just show you there. So again, really beautiful, simplistic software design uh, that. Again, you just don't see in any other Android phones, and uh, I do think that's credit to HTC. Uh, my only my only regret about this current model, and it's, it's only something that's only temporary, really, is the HTC One X uh, arrived on the scene around the same time that Instagram, a uh, very popular app on the iPhone, uh, came onto the marketplace or the Play Store, and uh, you know it's. It's got it, it downloaded, it, was, it had achieved, attracted something like one million downloads uh, in, uh, on the first day on Android. So incredibly popular. But here you have what is quintessentially probably one of the best Android phones ever to come on the market. And one of the things you just cannot do with it is uh, currently take photographs. So I'll just show you. I want to take some photos. And again, camera not supported. So I think this is only a temporary thing. I think it's up to Instagram updating its software or something. But I, I think this is the the device that has uh, probably one of the best cameras I've seen. Uh, and I'll just give you a hint again of some of the capabilities. So I just want to look at some of the widgets on it. You can do everything from changing the uh, the, the uh, images to the, the type of uh, shooting you do. Uh, you can even shoot in slow motion on this. So it's, it's really, really, really incredible what you can do. And again, a really clean, crisp uh, presentation of the commands. You can basically do as much as an SLR photographer can do with these devices, uh, but you don't have to know as much. You don't have to know a hell of a lot, but you can certainly find your way very easily with these guides. Basically, what wins it for me for this device um, has to be uh, its display. It's a 4.7-inch display. Uh, 
really, really beautiful. It's 4.7 inch with 1280 by 720 resolution. Uh, you can shoot in 1080p high definition. Um, it's just incredible. It's a 4.7 inch screen, but it doesn't really feel like it's a 4.7 inch screen at times because the narrow definition of the device, uh, really light materials. This, this thing with its uh, battery inside it weighs no more than 130 grams, which is quite incredible. So I'll just show it to you side by side and you get a s with the iPhone, the iPhone 4S from Apple, and you'll get a sense for the size of the screen. There you have it, there's the iPhone 4S. And this is the One X from HTC. Um, you can see the retina display on the Apple device is clearly brighter, but the screen size for this is, 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 in, is, is incredible. Um, I think, I think it's really great for shooting photography on and, and again, I think the, f the, sh the fast burst uh, shooting mode is, is fantastic. We'll just go through a, a quick roundup of some of the specs of this, this incredible little device. It's got a 1.5 gigahertz uh, quad-core processor, uh, Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich. Um, it's got a total storage of 32 gigabytes and one gigabyte of RAM. Uh, it's uh, got various sensors, a gyro sensor, a G sensor. Um, it's got Beats Audio, as you can see, it says so on the back. Um, it's uh, basically, again, I think it's, its camera is, is the really winning factor here. Uh, very much uh, a lot of really high, high spec camera. You know, it's capable of 8 megapixel camera autofocus, um, 108 OP HD video recording. The, f <laughs> the front camera is 1.3 megapixels. Uh, it's got video stabilization technology and it's capable of high quality slow motion camera. So again, really, a really uh, highly specced camera in a, in, a, in a smartphone. I think it's really, uh, for, for HTC, uh, I think they're back in fighting form. I think 2010 was their last big year, 2011, they, I think they, br they brought out too many products and, and really complicated their supply line. With the HTC One series, I think they're going back to simplicity and back to really what they do best, which is really pioneering technology and the camera wins at this time. So I have to say, I think HTC has got its mojo back.